Hi, and welcome to another amazing script for DaVinci Resolve. Have you ever wanted to do this? You just search for a picture, and then you copy this picture, and then go to DaVinci Resolve, and just paste it in, and there it is. C0, and there is the picture. And of course, the one I picked had fake alpha. It actually supports alpha too. So if I copy this image instead, which I can drag and look if it has the right alpha, I can just paste it in in DaVinci Resolve, and I get C1 which is that logo with alpha. So if I put it on top of this, you will see that the alpha is working. And no, this isn't magic. It's a script that my friend Villev wrote that works flawlessly with DaVinci Resolve. Not only does it put the actual images in DaVinci Resolve for you to use directly, you can choose which folder you wanted to save the images in. And in that folder, it will actually categorize it by project name. So this project back here is called test project. So the images I copied from the web is in this test project folder. And then we have the two images here. So if you have lots of projects, you will have a lots of folders with all the copied items in them. And you can obviously choose what folder that is. The other great thing about this is that you can copy any image, which means you can also press print screen and paste it into DaVinci Resolve. And you will get the pasted image here. Or you could even use the more advanced version that Windows has built in, that you maybe didn't know about. If you press Shift, Windows key and S, you will get the option to actually select something. And when you select it, it will automatically copy that to the clipboard. And if you paste it into DaVinci Resolve, you will now get the image of that copied space. Which is really great if you're doing tutorial videos like this one. So how does it work and how can you get your hands on it? As I said before, it's a script. So if you go to workspace and then scripts down here, here are all my scripts. And in the copy script folder, I have image clipboard and I have it binded to shift X. You can obviously go in here and click on this if you want to run it and it will create a new one here. But if you want to set it to a key bind, you can always go to DaVinci Resolve up here and the keyboard customizations. And then in this part, you go to workspace and then you can find uh, scripts and then press the keys you want it to activate on. So how do you get your hands on this script? So I will put a link in the description to Villa's GitHub. And once you're on the page, you can find the releases down here. You just click on that one and then image clipboard.lua. And then you just have to follow the installation instructions on the page. And it's really easy. It's just put the file there and change one line of code here to what folder you want to set. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like and follow because we have a lot more of these scripts coming up. And on the next one, you can download a whole YouTube video inside of DaVinci Resolve. That one is really great. And if you want to have a sneak peek on that one, you can always go to Villa's GitHub and check out his other scripts. Good luck and thanks for watching.